Did you know that house plants can help purify and rejuvenate the air quality in your home or workplace? They do this by removing toxins and adding moisture to the air. They're also great for decorating. And with some simple pointers, you can make a professional looking container planter, just like the ones from the florist, but for a fraction of the cost. We're going to learn how to make a healthy and hardy plant container like this one. The key is to start with good quality plants grown by a reputable grower or nursery. They tend to be healthier than ones from larger hardware or home remodeling stores. For a good sized tabletop planter, you'll need to choose a container first. This can be a basket, ceramic or glass pot, metal or tin dish, whatever you like. You probably have something around your house you can use. But if not, you can pick up items like this at your local thrift stores. Use your imagination. Next, you will need a liner. Plastic liners can be purchased from florist or gardening stores, or you can make your own liner using four mil clear plastic sheeting. This is about the thickness of a heavy duty garbage bag and can be purchased in rolls at your local hardware store or online. It's a good choice since you can't always buy a liner to fit exactly into the dish you're planning to use. To show how the sheeting is used, we'll make our planter using the sheeting. Cut a length that will extend a few inches over each side of the container. You will trim this later. Spread it out and let the edges extend over the sides of your container. Next, pre-arrange your plants as they will be positioned in the planter. For this size container, five to six plants will look really great. You want it to be very full. For visual interest, maybe choose some variegated plants to break up the all green look. Plan for the larger plants to be in the back, the smaller ones in front. Good plant choices are peace lily, china doll, rubber plant, palm, corn plant, and snake plant for the taller ones, pothos, aurelias, philodendron, and English ivy for smaller ones. These are just some of the plants you can use, but there are lots to choose from. Now that you've arranged them, it's time to add dirt to the container. Add about three inches of potting soil, then add water and using a shovel or any kind of tool, mix the water into the soil. Take each plant from its pot and using your fingers, loosen the dirt and roots a bit, then position them tightly into the dirt. Once they are in place, add more soil to the front of the container to prepare for the smaller plants. Follow the same procedure with these, loosening the dirt and roots and placing them tightly along the front edge of the container. Then add soil all around, packing it tightly up to the neck of the plants. Trim plastic to about one inch hanging over all around. This will keep any water from leaking out when you add water to the container. And don't worry, the excess plastic will be hidden. Now, fold the plastic back into the planter and add sheet moss or Spanish moss. It's easy to work with and pulls apart. Place it all around the edges, covering the plastic and around all of the plants so that no dirt is showing. You can then use greening pins to hold the moss in place. The moss is not only a nice finishing touch, but actually beneficial to the container because it gets wet and helps keep the water from evaporating from the soil. It looks great just like this. Or you can add some decorative touches, such as a ribbon or bow, curly willow, pussy willow, small birds, butterflies, or other items you can find in your craft store. The plants can live for up to a year in this type of container before they should be transplanted into larger containers. Water moderately about once a week when the soil feels dry.